Taylor from Michelle Wojo. Thanks. Thank you. I realized this evening that I am the only comic here tonight who has also performed at the last two stand-up nights. And I don't know if that's a good thing or if I just need to get a life. One thing I want to say before I get started, I've come to the conference, this is my fourth time, and, uh, and people always say, it, what, why is it held in Dayton? No offense, you know, Dayton, University of Dayton, beautiful campus, but I just wish sometimes that Irma could have gone to the University of Hawaii. <laughs> All right, my name is Michelle, and this is what I call the Wojo Show. Wojo, I want to point out, does not stand for Wojo, it's from Barney Miller. It stands for Wojciechowski, like where's your house key? <laughs> I had a lot of problems growing up with this name because I never knew what it meant. For example, if your name is Johnson, someone in your family was the son of John. If your name was Smith, it meant that someone eventually, you know, way back had been a blacksmith. So what does Wojciechowski mean? Let's take it apart. Whoa, what you say to stop a horse? Ja, I don't know, maybe it's Polish for the. Cow, as in Bessie the cow, and ski as in the sport. So my last name means, stop the horse, the cow is skiing. <laughs> when I was in kindergarten, and you know how you're learning to print your name, I was the only kid with a piece of paper this long. Aww. It's a joke. <laughs> I didn't have the piece of paper this long, it's okay, really. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and this next thing, it's going to be a joke too, so you don't have to feel bad for me, okay? I, I have these memories of sitting, missing lots of recess. Thank you, thank you. Just me, the teacher in the classroom, and Esmeralda Klingelhofer. I was sitting there writing S-K-I, she was going F-E-R. That's a joke too. I don't know anyone named Esmeralda Klingelhofer. <laughs> and I kept this name when I got married. Um, and I, I told people at the time, well, you know, I've established my career. I work as a professional writer. I certainly can't hyphenate. But the truth is, if I had to learn to spell this in kindergarten, honey, I am taking it to the grave. Thank you, keeping my last name, everybody applauds. <laughs> um, I grew up, I was born and raised in Baltimore City. Applaud for that. <laughs> and I, no, not where the wire was taped, I grew up. But my husband and I have moved to Baltimore County and we kind of now live in the sticks. Which is funny because when I was growing up in the city, the only critters I ever saw were rats, water bugs, which are basically roaches in formal wear, <laughs> and pigeons, which are rats with wings. So we get out to the country. Somebody awed for the pigeons. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> so we get out to the country, and there are all these critters. And I am just, you know, it's like mutual Omaha's wild kingdom right out back. And so I really get excited about it. So one day I call up our neighbor because I see this new critter out back. And I said, Ernie, guess what? He said, what? I said, there is a beaver out back. He said, it's not a beaver. He said, it's a groundhog. I said, no, no, it is a beaver. Now, let me tell you about our friend and neighbor. He has lived on farmland his entire life. So you would think, well, of course, I'll just agree with what he says. So I did what any good friend would do, and I went up and Googled beaver versus groundhog. And I just want to point out to, that to the untrained eye, beavers and groundhogs look exactly alike. And Ernie said to me, Michelle, it's, trust me, it's a groundhog, it's not a beaver. It may be a groundhog greatly in need of orthodontia, <laughs> but it's not a beaver. So another time I was out back and I, I was letting our dogs out and I looked across our yard and I saw a fox pup. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. And I got freaked out and ran to the woods. And I thought, ah, oh, this is, it's so nice to live out in the country. Until his brother stuck his head out from under my deck, like three feet from me, which pretty much forced me into screams that I think are still echoing throughout the state of Maryland. 
And again, thank God for Google, because I came in and I, I did that. This, this is not a joke, okay? I, I came in and I Googled, can foxes kill my dogs? <laughs> because I don't know these things. And it turns out that while they can kill the little teacup, you know, parasol and carry it in your purse dogs, they, they won't go after other dogs, and our dogs are big and fat and lazy, so we're safe. Yay! Um, another Clapping for my fat dogs. I'm telling you, you people rock. <laughs> um, uh, one other thing that's been really a lot of fun is we got a lot of bird feeders. And so, you know, we've seen all kinds of beautiful birds, blue jays and chickadees and wrens and ravens. And, and uh, my husband and I will go out front and really enjoy, you know, hanging out watching the birds. And, and I used to like squirrels because I thought, oh, they're so cute. Look, mm, no, they're eating little nuts. No, no, no. The squirrels are the bullies of the wild kingdom. <laughs> and I'm type A. I know that's probably really hard for y'all to believe. Um, my husband, that was a joke. Um, my husband is really type B and very relaxed and laid back. So it's a good balance until he saw the squirrels eating all the food that was meant for the birds. This became a very distressful thing for him. So we're sitting out front one time, just decompressing from the day. And he looks out, and he, all of a sudden, out of the blue, he says, no! And he goes running across the yard. And we've been married almost 15 years. And I've just basically sat there and thought, well, finally happened. <laughs> he has completely gone insane, just a matter of time. And my husband is over six feet tall. So here's what I see. He goes running across the yard, and he's up looking up at a tree like this. <laughs> so moving to the country has gotten us lots of good things. It has made my over six foot husband now have his chief enemy in the world be a six inch member of the rodent family. But it's still, you know, we still have fun, and he, he, um, Friends, when they found out he didn't like the squirrels, thought it'd be really great to send him every squirrel, th everything you could use to get rid of squirrels. So he started looking into all these feeders, and he looked into one that would shock the squirrels. And he thought this was a good thing, and I said, no, no, we are so not getting that. So somebody sent him the YouTube video of the bird feeders where the squirrel jumps on, the feeder spins around, and the squirrel goes, pew! <laughs> and he loves this video. And he will watch this, and he's like, watch, watch, Michelle, look, pew! There goes a the squirrel. Pew! There goes another one. Pew! They're just shooting right across the yard. And that's when I knew that my husband's war with the squirrels has completely driven him nuts. Thank you.